You are the man who gave them the power to destroy themselves. And the world is not prepared. Truman needs to know what's next. Two. What's next? One. Good afternoon, everyone. This is your good old nibble, Nick Kicks, Butterverse, and Frozen 2, and Kim Possible Fan 2001. Do you smell that Disney fan base? Yup, you smell something good like cooking by Bob Arger. Thank you, Bob Arger, so much for this fantastic meal that you give us for today. So today, I am doing my thought on the Disney on the Disney release date, which I am excited or I am not excited. Enough of the ado. Let's get the negative first, and then I'll get the positive. Anyway, let's go. So first off, we have to talk about the thing that I am not looking forward to it. I gotta say, but I am not looking forward to Toy Story 5. After the announcement, I was like, oh my god, don't make the Toy Story film to be like the Ice Age franchise that nobody asked for. Nobody in the right mind to say, oh, Toy Story 5, I want Toy Story 5. No, people are not dumb enough and stupid enough to say, Toy Story 5 is my most anticipated movie of, of 2026. I gotta tell you right now, the Mario movie and Frozen 3 will kick this film in the behind because nobody wants to see a fifth film Based on, sorry, based on the movie that we have a child of, and it can show that Hollywood is just shoving the nostalgia in the, in the people's throat. But anyway, we have to talk about the release date, because the release date is just it's the same old bull crap, because every single Pixel release date, th I'm sorry, they have, I mean, they have been doing since Finding Dory. Put me out wrong, but since Cars 2, or even Finding Dory, which, Tell me in the comments version which is the first Pixar film that got a June release date. For me, I seriously think it was Cars 2 or even Toy Story 3 or even um, Finding Dory. But honestly guys, just let me know in the comments. It will be so helpful. But anyway, Toy Story 5 is going to be released on June 19, 2026. I gotta say, even on the guy, even that release date is not that bad. But I'm not gonna pay this film because this film looks unnecessary. Looks unnecessary because I got a feeling that sorry, I got a feeling that Pixar is just milking the Toy Story franchise, just what. <clears throat> Just like what 20th Century Studio did to the um to the Ice Age franchise, which the first film they got a Academy Award nominated, which thank goodness the Lord that spills away got <coughs> sorry got win over the Ice Age, but even the Ice I'm sorry, honestly, honestly guys, if the Ice Age movie was winning at the Oscars back then um uh uh, uh back then um 2003 and and Spears Away will be lose. I will be really disappointed. But thank goodness that Spears Away got the Academy Award winner. And thank goodness the Lord that Ice Age movie that came out in 2002. They got a reward. And thank goodness the Lord that Kim Possible got a nomination at the Kids' Choice Reward back in 2002. Put me all wrong, but let me know in the comment if that happened. So, yeah. Anyway. Even, on the guy, even the release date for Toy Story 5... Is it's okay. I gotta said I am not gonna pay my hard money to see the most unnecessary sequel that people didn't ask for. There's absolutely no way in the white mind and people say, Oh, Toy Story 5, sign me in! Yeah, people are not saying that. People are not dumb or stupid enough to say that. But the second of all, it is just me, or it's just Hollywood, is just shoving the nostalgia in the people's throat. Because Tom Hank, sorry, Tom Hank is 67 years old, and Tim Allen is 70, is 70 years old, he's going to be 71 this year. And, um, and Anna Paul, which is the voice actress that she's a voice Bo Peep in Toy Story film, and the, and the Ghostbuster as a, um, as a girl with the glasses, which I forgot what her name is, which I might rewatch the Ghostbuster movie because it's been a while. Honestly, guys, it's been a while. I will. Um, honestly, guys, it's been a while. I was. Um, 
I was really watching Ghostbuster film because since 2016, yeah, I do not want to think about that freaking Ghostbuster female movie. Yeah, it's disgusting. Anyway, and even I also got Andy actress that she's the voice of Bo Peep. She is 71 years old. I will pee right now. Te I'm sorry. I will pee right now. Tom Hank is 67 years old. And Tim Mallon is 70 years old. He's going to be 71 this year. And the actress that she's the voice of Bo Peep and she was in Ghostbuster film. She is 71 years old. And Hollywood. Stop blaming the older actor and, actor and actress in Hollywood. And blame us some good actor and, act, actor and actress. Which is which is younger because because making older I'm sorry make honestly blaming older I'm sorry blaming older actor and actress and Hollywood it can show that you are shoving the nostalgia in the people's throat like nobody want to see a sixty seven year old man to a voice of Woody nobody wants to see a seventy <laughs> nobody wants to see a seventy year old man to a voice of Buzz Right Yell which honestly guys I'm probably a lot of people prefer Tim Allen more than Chris Evan in that white your movie which I totally I totally understand why Tim Allen want to <clears throat> want to play Buzz right here because he really liked the character Buzz right here. But at the same time he's just getting too old for this. And honestly guys, at the same time, he's just getting too old for this. And then honestly guys, and once again, it can show that the nostalgia honestly honestly guys, it can show that Hollywood is shoving the nostalgia in the people freaking throat. And nobody wants to see the actress that she's the voice of Bo Peep, which I have a crush on. Which another than she is sixty. I mean, sorry. Which another than I'm sorry. Which another than she is seventy one years old. Like I will pee right now. Nobody wants to see a sixty seven year old man to a voice of Woody. Nobody wants to see a seventy year old man to a voice of Buzz Lightyear. And nobody wants to see a seventy one year old girl. I'm sorry, you old woman, to voice Bo Peep because making uh, honestly, guy blaming older actor and actress. In the freaking Toy Story film, it just doesn't us help at all. And honestly, it can shows, it can shows that they are trying their best to lose the audience. And honestly, guys, this is the main reason why that some of the Disney films are not doing well at the box office. So yeah, honestly, guys, I'm not gonna blame Disney Wish as a <clears throat> as a discussion because at least Chris Pine and even 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 Chris Pine. Is getting all these days because I forgot what his age is. But you know what? I might work it out on mine. Oh, on a minute. Honestly, guys, at least I mean, at least Chris Pine. Honestly, guys, you can say whatever you want about Chris Pine, but at least Chris Pine, he is forty three year old. I'm oh, sorry, he is 40, 43 year old man, and he's still voicing King Manago, King Mamastigo, from Disney Wish. I'm very sorry I say his name wrong because his last name is the most darn complicated last name I ever ex I'm sorry I ever said in my big fat mouth. Sorry guys, that was my uh, guys that was my discussion for Toy Story Five. It's gonna get released on June nineteenth, twenty twenty six. Like. I'm just going to repeat right now, and I already know I kind of sound like a book and record, but I do not care. Nobody wants to see a 67-year-old man to a voice of Woody. No offense to Tim, ha sorry, Tim, I'm sorry, Tom Hanks. But I got said, he deserved to be a better movie, and he deserved to be in the drama film instead of being the Toy Story film. Nobody wants to see a 71-year-old man to a voice of Buzz Lightyear, and I want to see Tim Allen to stick with his sitcom and his drama film. And you honestly, you, honestly, you know what? Tom Hank and Tim Allen deserve to be in the better movie instead of the Toy Story film. It can show, it can show that Hollywood is just milking the Toy Story franchise. And I got a bad feeling that the Toy Story franchise will be even milking than the Ice Age franchise. You know what? Screw the Toy Story 5, screw the release date, and screw this announcement and the behind. But I gotta say, I can't judge this film because of the cover. Even I'm not looking forward to this film. But honestly, guys, I don't want to be like most people or canceling this film. Like, if you cancel this film, it will be like David Zazel when he canceled the one Looting Tomb movie, which people need to calm the heck down. Which I honestly, I understand. It was, it was really disrespectful when he did that. And, he, and, and honestly, guys, and he should not be doing it. But I gotta say, but if you do that, 
you're just wasting a lot of the director, writer, filmmaker, and even the voice, actor, and actress payback. And they all, and all you got, the point of me is why they cancel it, which is nothing. They all, they are putting it as a um, writer tax, tax off. If I say that, uh, I was got, if I, didn't I say that name right? Put me on wrong, just put me know in the comment if I say that name right. But if I, honestly, guys, honestly, guys, if you do some reaction video of this, just put me, honestly, guys, just let me know if I say it right. And you know what? Screw the announcement, screw Toy Story 5. And I'm not, and I'm definitely not looking forward to watch this film. But don't worry, I will see it because even I'm a huge, even I'm a huge fan of the Toy Story franchise, but. I'm just getting sick of tires on the Toy Story film. It can show that this film is trying to be like a nipperating. It's the most it's the most nipperating movie from the franchise, which is another than Toy Story 4. Yeah, I do not yeah, I cannot stand that freaking movie. So you guys. And now we are gonna talk about the one thing I am not looking forward to it, which is none than the most unnecessary remake that Disney announced. I mean Dwayne Johnson announced, which this is not Disney's fault. This is Dwayne Johnson's fault because Dwayne Johnson got to keep his big mouth shut. Now we're going to talk about a release date for Moana live action movie. I'm probably you remember, I'm sorry, I'm probably you remember the movie that came out eight years ago, which is the original Moana movie, and I am so darn looking forward to the Moana 2. And I give it to you that the new Moana version that we got in Moana 2 pictures, mwah, chef kiss. I like it. 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 But I gotta say, I am not looking forward to Moana live action movie. And second of all, Dwayne Johnson, you gotta keep your big mouth shut because after what you did at the announcement, uh, honestly, guys, after what you did when you say, "Hey, good news, everyone! I'm gonna greenlight a Moana live action movie," I gotta say, Dwayne Johnson, you don't even work from Disney company, and you honestly, guys, and, honestly, and, and, honestly, and you are not a CEO from Disney, Bob Arker. Honestly, guys, this is Bob Arco's job. Why are you taking Bob Arco, um, Bob Arco's job? I swear to God, if I see Dwayne Johnson to be as a CEO from Disney, oh my goodness, Disney will be doomed. Disney will be doomed, 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 doomed. Because, honestly, guys, he is trying his best to make a stupid cinematic universe, which I think is even stupider, just like a Poonaverse. And now, Dwayne Johnson is trying his best to make this Moana live-action movie to base on Dwayne Johnson's cinematic universe. I would I'm sorry. I oh, sorry. I would watch a Marvel Cinematic Universe or even the DCEU, and I would make my own Cinematic Universe, which is in the YouTube verse, or even the Kim Possible, or even the Disney Channel Universe, which is a on the guy, which is a way better multiverse than seeing Dwayne Johnson multiverse. Nobody wants to see a Dwayne Johnson multiverse. No offense, to, on the guy. No offense to Rock. I like the Rock. The Rock is a very monster guy. But I gotta say, this Moana live action movie looks unnecessary. People are not looking forward to it. Or oh, even the one you, I'm sorry, even the one user who's a huge fan of the villain in the Moana movie, which. I totally respect your opinion, President, if you don't like the villain from Moana. I gotta say, he was a hilarious character. I gotta say, he's a hilarious character. And yes, he's even better than Bill Weather. And yes, I kind of like Bill Weather, but I am almost going to agree with Lembo I shut back. Let's not, honestly, guys, let's not do that because I don't want to be like a book and freaking record. But honestly, guys, Moana live action movie is coming out on, on July 10th, 2026. I gotta say, the same thing with Toy Story 5. I'm not gonna judge this film because of cover. But I gotta say, I'm not gonna judge this film because of cover. And you, honestly, guys, and you know what Jane Possible said. Jane Possible said, you can't judge everything because of cover. But prove me all wrong. But I'm probably, um, I probably when he said that, I'm probably, I probably it was in season one. Yeah, you know what? It, I, 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 honestly, guys, it was in season one. But honestly, guys, I'm very sorry I talk about Kim Possible. But come on, it's called Nick Cage, Spider-Verse, and Frozen 2, and Kim Possible Fan 2001, not Moana Fan 2001. Or else it will make it up. I'm sorry. Or else it will make up your mind. Anyway, guys, that was my discussion for the Moana live-action movie, which is other than the Moana live-action movie. It's going to get released on July 10th, 2026. And just like Toy Story 5, screw this. Screw Dwayne, I'm sorry, screw Dwayne, I'm sorry, screw Dwayne Johnson, and screw this remake in the behind, and I would have watched The Little Mermaid 2023. Now, that looked like a guilty pleasure. 
didn't see an unnecessary remake with another number one of live action movies. But like I said, when this remake come out, I'm not gonna watch it, and I'm not gonna even on the and I'm not gonna even bother to watch it. And you know what? On July 10th, I am gonna sit back. Get on Disney Plus and watch Moana and Moana 2. Now that will be a much better experience than seeing the movie. It's gonna be a rehash. It's gonna be some. Uh, it's gonna be some of the change. And I do not want to see this film will be a two-hour movie. I do not want to see this film will be a two-hour movie. But I swear, if I see a Disney live-action movie trying to be like a three-hour movie. I'm just going to watch my crap. Like, come on. You're not Oppenheimer. You're not the Return of the King. You're definitely not the Godfather. You know what? I'm done talking about it. Let's, let's, let's talk about something. Something meant. Sorry, guys. I'm probably going to remember the movie called Drone, which is the movie that came out, like, years ago, and then came out in 2011, which that film didn't do out the box office. But we was really hope that we are never going to get Drone movie. Even I think Drone is the... Drone is a underrated movie from 2011, and they made uh, 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 guys, they made the first film back um, maybe in the 80s or the 90s, but it's been a while I watched the Drone movie. I might watch the Drone movie leading up to this, but I gotta say, but Drone 3 n is, oh my god, I hate that title. I hate that title. It's the stupidest title I ever heard in my life, but I gotta say, thank goodness that, Di sorry, thank goodness the Lord that Disney Changed the title and now it's gonna call it Drone Era. I gotta say that's a much better title than Drone Three. And do not, I will be do Disney. Please, for God's sake, please do not do a trend when you're taking numbers and put a freaking sorry, and put it. I'm so sorry, put it in the freaking movie title, which you're not the screen movie and you're definitely not taking. Anyway, Drone Three, Drone Three and. It's going to get released on October 20th, 2025, which is coming out next year, which, um, even I'm not looking forward to it, but I want to see how this turns out, because Jen Weddle is going to be in this film, and I got a bad feeling that he will make this film as a was as piece of the crap. But honestly, guy, no offense to Jen Weddle. I do like Jen Weddle, but... He was terrible in Morbius, and he was god-awful. I'm sorry. He was terrible in the Suicide Squad, and he was absolutely god-awful in the god-awful Morbius movie, which is the worst movie of 2022, and I would watch the Crocodile movie any day to suffer my time to watch the Morbius movie. I might I might do a one of that film before I watched um, Metal Web, but maybe we'll see. But anyway, I won't mind this movie stay Like, such a perfect timing. Watch the drum movie on the Halloween. So, on to guys. Drone 3 is coming out on October 20th, 2025. Cannot wait to see it. Cannot, uh, honestly guys, can't wait to see it. But I'm still meh about this choice. I'm still meh about this film. Because even I enjoyed the, I'm sorry. Even I enjoyed the drone movie back then, 2011. But like I gotta say, this film could have been potential. At least it's way better than the Elseman Man for Moana live action movie or even Toy Story 5. So the last announcement I am going to discuss, which is another in the Mandalorian, the Star Wars movie, which is coming out on May 22, I mean 22nd, 2026. Man, we got a bunch of Disney release date in 2026. I really, honestly guys, I am still waiting for the release date for Frozen 3 because Frozen 3 is going to end with a cliffhanger, just like what Sony did with the Spider-Man and the Cross of Spider-Man, which is the best movie that accrues for a two-part movie. Because I... Because... Honestly, guys, I'm probably Frozen 3 will be the very first Disney film. Disney film will end... I'm sorry. Will end like a cliffhanger. Even Disney Wish is a very short movie. But I give it to you that Frozen 3 will be the longer... I'm sorry. The very first longer two-hour movie that Walt Disney Animation Studio ever did since the Black Cauldron or maybe. I don't know. Anyway. The Man in Northern Star Wars film, and don't make fun of me when I mistitle that. Which, honestly, guys, his name is really complicated. Is he? Honestly, guys, it's even, I'm sorry, it's, I'm sorry, it's even Don, I'm sorry, it's even Don complicated when I was trying to say the villain's, I'm sorry, the villain last name, which, yeah, I, I, I and yes, I say Keen, but the M word that he had for the last name, which is too darn complicated, which, don't judge me, and you, honestly, guys, don't judge me. And you don't even know about my life. So cut it out. Anyway, this film is coming out on May 22nd, 2026. Which I really hope... Cam I'm sorry. I really hope Kathy Kennedy would not ruin this film. And I really hope 
I really hope that this film will, will save Star Wars. Because right now, Star Wars is in the poop water. And now, the Star Wars franchise is ruined. Thanks to Kathy Kennedy. The most evilest girl I've ever seen by Lucasfilm as a CEO. I gotta say, her and David Zazel are both tied as the worst CEO of movie history. Honestly guys, that was my thought. My own personal thought on some of the Disney movie state, which I'm excited or I am not excited. So I'm sorry, and I'm very sorry that I've been saturating too many times. I'm very sorry, um, I'm very sorry, um, I'm very sorry I was going off topic. And most importantly, I'm very sorry I was talking louder. I was trying my best. At least I tried my best, but I was trying my best to talk like a normal like a normal person. But anyway. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more of this Disney content, please hi hi like a menu, you hit the subscribe button, turn notification, and share the virtual whole family. And Disney, this is the main reason why I love Frozen 2, Kim Possible Soul to Drama, or even better, Disney Wish. Which some of the haters out there who think Disney Wish is the worst Disney movie ever. Have you not even seen Chicken Riddle, The Wild, or even Home of the Range? Oh my god, I hate those. Oh my god, I hate those three freaking movies. That film looks so stupid. Disney Wish is much better than those two Disney Dead Zone movies. Which the main reason why I call it the Disney Dead Zone is has to be number one. Those three, I'm sorry, number one. Those three films don't have any Disney magic. And second of all, it was it was the scrape to the Disney, and and third of all, those three movie was ruined by Disney back then. To, I'm sorry, back in the two thousand because of, I'm sorry because it's two thousand, is the worst decade that Disney ever did. But the twenty twenty decade, oh, uh, on the guys, on the guys, this is twenty twenty four, not the two thousand decade. Come on, people, you know what? I'm done. Anyway. Have a great, I'm sorry, have a great afternoon, everyone. And I see you guys next time. And once again, yadios and yadios.